Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing another makeup challenge video because I haven't done one in quite a while and they are by far my favourite videos to film. Quite a lot of you have been asking me to do the full face of makeup using only paint brushes video so that is what I've decided to do today. I know quite a few people have done it but I've never watched anyone do it before so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. These are my tools, the only things I'm going to be using are these and they are a set of kids paint brushes and sponges. I have used the sponges before for actual paint but I swear they are clean like it's just where it stained it a little bit but there's no paint on there so I'm not going to be like painting my face with red so yeah these are the only things I'm going to use I'm going to give it my best shot let's go <laughs> right so I put a bit of foundation on my hand and I think the best one for foundation is probably this thing my dirty sponge oh I can't wait to put you on my face I'm just gonna like dot it on my face and then blend it in with the sponge if you can call it that. <laughs> That'll do. What great dotting. <laughs> so neat. Oh, mate. That is less than pleasant, <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, that noise is like scraping my skin. This is so weird. <laughs> it isn't really working. I feel like my foundation's vanishing. Like I think it's all just, oh goodness. <clears throat> I think it's all just like getting stuck to the sponge. This is odd, isn't it? Like what an odd thing to cho choose to do. <laughs> How does that look? Fantastic, not. But um, I think that will do. That is my foundation. I don't think it looks too bad. I think that actually blended all right. It just took a lot more effort. I'm now gonna move on to concealer. So again, I'm just gonna put a bit of concealer on the back of my hand. Mm, mm, mm. And then, what one should we do? I think I'm gonna take, oh, selection. What a choice. <laughs> should we go with the yellow one? Hmm, not bad, a little bit sharp. Yeah, this is just quite an uncomfortable video really, isn't it? <laughs> Paint brushes are not soft, but look, it is blending it in pretty decent. Pretty decent. Pretty decent, mate. Oh, oh, in the eyeball. <laughs> oh no. I think it's triggered my leaky eye. <laughs> triggered. <laughs> Please, no. I get a leaky eye really easily in this eye. And I think it's just set it off because I just poked it. No. Niagara Falls is about to begin. <laughs> I think we're okay. Do you know what? I am pleasantly surprised at how well that's like blended in. Well done you. I don't know why I'm smacking you. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, I forgot about my nose. I always put a little bit around my nose as well. Can't forget about her. Never forget your nose. It will be sad. <laughs> It packs the product on. Oh no, not inside, watch out. It packs the product on quite well. Like I feel like it's given quite decent coverage using a paintbrush. Okay, concealer, nailed it. Powder, how the nugget am I supposed to do that with a paintbrush? The nugget, who says that? I think for powder, I'm gonna take this little circle sponge and just try and like get it onto it. Oh, 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 dusty. Yeah, that's kind of gone onto it. And then I'm just gonna like dab it around my under eye bit. I think that's a good idea. It's like, it's working. It's getting it on there, isn't it? That's what you want. As long as it's on there, we're all good. Doesn't matter if we lose our eyeball in the process. <laughs> well, it does actually. I need that. I'm just gonna keep patting it around. Pat, 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 pat. Way! Yeah. I am gonna do, I am gonna do, I am gonna do, I can't talk. I am gonna do. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. And you know, I normally use like a thing that I hold with a crayon. I thought, well, that's cheating because I wanna use a paintbrush for like as much as I can. So I'm gonna use one of the ones like this that actually require a brush so that I can try it with a paintbrush. And luckily this set has a little angled paintbrush. So I thought that would be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be terrible. I'd never use this kind of thing I find them really hard to use so this is not gonna go well in itself even if I was using a normal brush right now this would go tits up that comes out quite strong whoa it's um way too dark for me because I think it's for brown haired people maybe the paintbrush is doing all right though cheeky little paintbrush who knew <laughs> it's completely the wrong color like my eyebrows are not a sort of like brownie brown they're a more sort of is it like ashy brown is it called oh I'm still going at it, but I'm not getting anywhere. I can't get my like pointy bits to point. I actually think shape wise, I didn't do too badly apart from the like end bits here. Using this was quite good. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take these two. I've got like a little squarish one and a pointy one. I'm just gonna see what I can create. I've got this little eyeshadow palette here. I'm gonna start with the palest color and just pop that all over using this. Oh, it doesn't really pack on very well, but look, it is just, it's doing the job. It's putting that eyeshadow on that eyelid. That is what we want, it's doing 
what I've asked it to. A little bit of that and then I'm going to take a bit of this like pinky colour and just put that all over as well because I feel like it. It's quite messy because I'm having to like sort of scrape it in to get product off. I'm destroying my eyeshadow palette but no, I should use this one more often, it's well pretty. I like it! Nice! And now I'm going to take the slightly more like pointy brush and I'm going to take a little darker colour, I don't know what you'd call that, and then put that in the, in the, what mirror? I'm spoilt for choice with mirrors, they're everywhere. <laughs> Just gonna put a little bit of it in my corner bit. Yeah, it's not really picking it up very well. It's not ideal, <laughs> it's not ideal, but this one's actually pretty soft, this little green one. Nice little soft one here, which is good because it's going around my eyeball. You always want a soft one when it's going in your crease. <laughs> Oh, I dribbled then. <laughs> Legit dribbled. Legitimate dribble. Mm -mm. Okay, that will do. I've I've had enough of that now. I'm bored. I will now move on to. Oh no. How am I going to do my eyeliner? See, I don't know if the other people that have done this have just done it with the eyeliner because it's like, well, I wasn't going to use a brush anyway. But I feel like that's boring, so I want to actually try and use a paintbrush for my eyeliner. Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> I'm going to take the eyebrow one again. I'm just going to try and like clean it off a bit. I guess I'm just going to try and like wipe it onto it. Imagine if this works. I will be so shocked it's not going to work. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't work. <laughs> this is just going to use it all up. I'm like having to put so much on there. It's just really faint because obviously it's not coming out very much. But that one kind of worked shape-wise. It's just barely noticeable, which is probably why it worked because you can't really see it. <laughs> Right, I've just like kept at it for a bit longer and that is probably as good as it's gonna get. It's just like a really soft, smoky eyeliner. Yeah, I'm trying to make it sound good when it's not. <laughs> but that is my eyeliner. I'm now gonna move on to mascara. There is no way I can do my mascara with a paintbrush. Like, let's be real, how could I even do that? <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna put my mascara on normally. I don't really know how else I can do it. Like, I don't wanna be sticking this in my mascara. Okay, so I've put on a little bit of mascara. I am now gonna finish off my face makeup. So I need to bronze my face somehow. How? So I've got this brush, which I thought is kind of like a contoury shape. It's really not, it's way too skinny, but it's the closest thing I've got to try and contour with. So I'm just gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Well, it made a line, it's just not really like blending outwards now, it's just it's just a line. <laughs> mm, it kind of worked, I don't really know. To be honest, it's not that bad, I reckon it could have gone a lot worse, I don't think that's too horrendous, it's actually quite bad. Okay, so that is my contour done, it looks really bad. <laughs> this side isn't as bad, I don't think, oh it's, it's pretty bad. It's just like a line, literally. It's not, it's not budging, it's staying there. Forever blusher. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna take this little like spongy thing. Oh no! It's just gonna make splodges. Yeah, there we go. There's my splodge. <laughs> just as expected. This was not a good choice because it's such a like pigmented blush, and I've put it way too low. What am I doing? <laughs> Tragic. Oh, maybe if I do this, it works a bit better. Instead of dabbing, swipe it. I love sponges, I don't know if I've ever said that before. Only Alex knows that about me, but now thousands of people know as well that I actually have a love, a real love for sponges. Okay, now we know. Now we know that I am not normal. <laughs> Probably already knew that. Now I'm gonna try and highlight and I'm gonna use this again. That is working pretty well actually. That's not too bad, that has, you know, it's not the neatest, but it's getting it on there quite well, now I'm going to do my lipstick and I'm going to use, I don't have any brushes left. I'm going to use the one that I used for concealer because I think that's sort of a decent lip shape. Oh no, don't want any of that on there. <laughs> that's going back to 14 year old Sophie. <laughs> lipstick, I have this brownie coloured one because play it safe, go for like the darkest colour out there. Smart one Sophie. <laughs> I'm just going to put a bit of that on the brush and I'm just going to wipe it on. This isn't too hard, this brush is alright. Mm, smells so nice. This, not the brush. <laughs> oh, scented paintbrushes. Invention idea. I'm actually finding this easier than when I do my lipstick with the stick. This is so much easier because I've got a lot more like control over where I put it. You know what? I might use you as my lipstick brush from now on because Oh, balls. Balls it up. I actually quite like doing it like this. I don't think I look too different to normal, do I? I think the skin makeup blended 
pretty pretty fine pretty fine the eyebrows we can only blame the wrong colored product because that's all i had don't they actually look not bad i'm actually quite impressed that a paintbrush created them created them bad boys they're not that good let's be real <laughs> they're really not that good my eyeshadow turned out pretty normal the eyeliner shape worked but it just was hard to get enough product on there. The lipstick looks completely normal. So I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think that it looks decent enough? Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's any more makeup challenge videos you want me to do because I would love to do them. And I will see you next week. Bye.